Hi everybody! Today's video is about a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. It's a mini computer that can be compared to an Arduino Omega, but this one has more functions. It has a 900 megahertz quad-core ARM Cortex-A7 CPU, 1 gigabyte RAM, 40 GPIO pins, a power plug, and an HDMI port. It also has an AV port that can be used for connecting it to a screen, four USB ports and an Ethernet port. It also has a camera plug and a plug for a special monitor. Both plugs are covered with plug covers. My kit also contains this radiator and a cooler with screws. The links for all the products are in the video description section. We will need a micro SD card and an HDMI cable. Let's assemble the case. Attach the cooler after you glue the radiator to the CPU. The thermal paste is also included in the kit. This is how it looks. Now connect the power to the cooler. Connect the red wire to pin 2 and the black wire to pin 3. It should look like this. Install an operating system on the SD card. You can download it from the official Raspberry website by clicking on the download zip button. All the links along with the detailed instructions are in the video description section, and I'll show you how to do it now too. Download the OS, go to the sdcard.org website, the link for it is in the video description. Accept the license agreement and download the SD card formatting software there. Install the software. Run it. As soon as you connect the card to the PC, it will define it as Drive E. This applies to all PCs. Choose On, OK, Format. OK, OK. It's done. Unzip the files you downloaded from the official Raspberry Pi website. Copy and paste them to the card's main catalog. Its total size is 1 gigabyte. Insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Connect your TV set to the Raspberry Pi with the HDMI cable. Connect the mouse plug and keyboard through the USB plugs. Connect the power. I'm using a 1000 MA cell phone charger for the power. The cooler is working. Choose the HDMI connection. The program should ask what system you would like to install. There's only one option. It's the Raspbian OS. Make selection, install. Yes. The well-known Raspberry logo should appear. It's been almost 20 minutes now, and it's 98% installed. The installation is finished. The OS is almost ready. Here it is. Well, the Minecraft game is pre-installed here. Let's play. It's my first try. Never played it before. Wow, you can beat things, and you can explore, and it's all controlled with the keyboard. I connected a small Wi-Fi receiver, and the system connected me to this 
Hubble Network. Typing the password, OK. The signal bar is shown. This is an unlocked network. Let's try and surf the net. This is a standard browser. I'll type my channel name here. Let's check the search speed. It's rather slow. Here are the search results. My videos are here. I can go to my channel. So, if you connect this Raspberry Pi device to a TV through the AV plug with an HDMI cable, you'll get a multimedia center. Let's try and watch some of my videos to check the connection speed. Well, it's working rather slowly. The CPU is just 1 GHz, even 900 MHz, so what can you expect? The video is working, but there is no sound at all. Let's set the audio. Click here. The terminal should open. You can type your commands here. Type the following, sudo nano slash boot slash config.txt. Press enter. You need to edit this file. This HDMI drive command is commented already. You can see the number sign at the beginning of the line. Delete the number sign. The Y, yes, and N, no line should appear. That means, do you want to save changes or not? Press Y for yes. Затем нас спрашивают, yes или no, то есть сохранять или нет. Нажимаем y, yes. The file is edited now. Reboot the device. Go to menu, shut down, reboot, OK. То есть меню, shut down, reboot, OK. The audio should work now. Yes, it's working. So, I showed you how to start working with a Raspberry by installing Linux OS. That was rather easy. I'd like to make some new projects with this Raspberry and some sensors. I'll show them to you in my next videos. If you have any ideas about Raspberry Pi boards, share them in the comments. I'm interested and ready to discuss your ideas. There's one peculiar thing about Raspberry. Whatever you do with it, however you decide to program it, it will become a media center in the end anyway. This thing here is a fully functional media center. If you enjoyed watching the video, click like and subscribe to my channel. There will be more interesting crafts for you in the future. See you!